Jesus juice. Jesus juice. <laughs> Paris, we're just like Brandy and Stephanie. I'm Brandy because I have red hair and you're Stephanie because you're blonde. And we're going to get turned. Aerator. Cool. This amazing device lets you enjoy wines at their full potential by bringing more air into the wine molecules faster. Unlike the aerators, it uses vortex technology. Very cool. Ah! Guys, I got three natty wines sent to me. This is from the King Froche Winery. Very excited to try these. They actually reached out to me on Instagram. They have been seeing all of my videos about me talking about how just wine in general seems to give me a headache, except for like a few wines that I know and trust. But it's really bad, it's like gotten real bad. It didn't used to be like this, but I'll have like one glass of wine and then I'll get a headache and they're like, hey, why don't you try our wine, all natural, it's all organic. This is not a paid deal. They just know that I like wine and wanted to send me some of their natty wines to try. They sent me three bottles here. We're gonna open them all up. All right, look at this. It literally says the no headache wine. How cool is that? We saw in one of your videos that you were looking for a natural wine that wouldn't give you a headache. We're King Frosch, a family owned all natural wine company. We don't add any artificial colors, tastes or flavor enhancements and all our wines have among the lowest sulfite, allergen and histamine levels in the world. Thank you King Frosch family. This is very kind of you. Where do I start? Do a wine testing, we recommend doing it in this order. Numbers can be found on the back of the bottle. 130, that's the first one. That's number one, that's the last one. Okay, so these are the room temperature boys. This guy is gonna go in the freezer for a little bit. When drinking 310, try it first when you open the bottle and then set it aside for 30 minutes. Okay, so it'll taste different between. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna start with, yes, the 130. This is the semi-dry, semi-dry Dornfelder. This is so good. Very, it's very sweet actually. I feel like usually when you drink wine or kind of really any alcohol, it's not like, there's always like a tinge of grossness. You know, it's like a grossness that I have grown to like as an adult. But think about when you, like the first time you ever like smelled your parents' alcohol as a kid or something and you're just like, oh. But this wine doesn't have any of that. It just tastes so sweet. It doesn't like stick in my mouth in a way where I feel like I'm gonna get a headache from it or something though. It's almost got like cherry in it, I wanna say. I'm getting notes of cherry. It has <laughs> an oaky afterbirth, as Michael Scott would say. It's really good. Obviously, when you're wine tasting, I don't think you're supposed to do full <laughs> like wine pours. You're just supposed to do like a, a taste, but I don't know. I wanted to get the cool shot, so I had to keep pouring. This is really good. This is growing on me a lot. I like this a lot. All right, so this is wine number 130. It's also the first wine that I'm trying from King Froche. This is their semi-dry. The only like note that I can pick up is like a cherry. It is sweet, but it's also super smooth. There's nothing harsh about this. It's really good. It might be a little too sweet for me to drink a lot of, but I think a lot of people would really like this. It's super smooth. I don't know, I could totally drink a lot of this. This is very good. All right, moving on. Second wine. So far, so good. One glass of King Froche down it. I feel like a million dollars. Let's go number two. Okay, so this is the wine that they said to taste it right away when you open it and then let it aerate for 30 minutes and then try it again and compare. So let's do our first sip. Mm. I feel like by the smell, this is already kind of a wine that I would be more into. 
this is what you do right. And then you look at the legs. Oh yeah, look at those. The only time I've ever done anything wine related, Aaron and I did a, one of those Airbnb experiences in France and it was so fun, but it was <laughs> like 10 in the morning. Our guide took us around to all these different shops around Paris and basically taught us how to pick out a good wine and pick out good cheese. And then he brought us to a restaurant and we all sat there and drank the wine and ate the cheese and it was fantastic. I learned some lingo that day, but a lot of it is pretty, pretty blurry. <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah, this is this is so good. This is smooth. It's got like a buttery finish. Wow. This is really similar to the um, to the wine I like a lot, La Crema. Barrel aged dry Dornfelder. This tastes more like a raspberry, like just random berries. Like the other one had cherry. This tastes like a raspberry. Like it's a little lighter. No floral notes in this one either. I wanna say there's maybe some citrus too. I don't know. Let's see. Barrel aged for six months, crafted in limited quantity. This wine is so dark and deep in color, it stains the glass. I hope not. Flavorful red for big red wine lovers, which like to find balance and harmony in their dark berry flavors. I said berries. The more aerating, the better it is. Mm, mm, mm. Ah. I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes. And we will come back and try that again. We will let the boy aerate, and then we will come back and try her again. This is supposed to be like a vortex aerator, so I don't have to wait. And if you know me, you know that I hate waiting. <laughs> Let's do this. This looks fun, look at it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Watch this wine go like everywhere. Okay, I think that's good. Aerator, take one. does taste different. It's It got rid of like all of the overlaying bitter. Now this this goes down like dangerously easy now. I feel like I could drink this like water. All right, well, I'm gonna still wait 30 minutes and compare and try and remember what this tasted like. Well, we have decided, I have decided to move the wine tasting outside with our new fire pit. I'm just obsessed with this new fire pit. And this whole little sitting area, this whole yard, this whole house. I literally just feel so lucky and so fortunate. Every day that we've lived here has felt like a dream and I just feel like this house is so perfect for us. I'm very, very happy. All right, there's the timer on the aeration. Okay, I can see what they're saying, how it gets better the longer it aerates, because this just keeps getting smoother and smoother. Not that it was bad when I first opened it, but I can taste the difference between when I first opened it and aerated it. At least I think I can. So much of this is maybe just in your head. Who knows? I don't know anything I'm doing. I'm just trying these wines. I'm actually um, kind of buzzed, and it's time for the final wine. I'm gonna go get it. Maybe just in your head. The final glass. This is their semi-sweet Dornfelder. It smells delish. It's got, um, <laughs> like, I don't know enough adjectives. I need to get better at this. It smells like wine. Oh, whoa. This tastes so different than the other ones. This tastes like real, this is a dessert wine, honestly. Spin it, spin it around. Ow, fiery. Uh, less leggies on this guy. It's crisp. I, I taste apple. Oh my god. Ah, a moth. You guys remember moth memes? It's good. It's so sweet. Definitely a dessert wine. It's so good. Okay, not a sponsored video. King Frosh, King Frosh, I feel I don't know how to even say it, but thank you guys for sending me this wine. This has been a really fun, different video for me to do, and I love these wines. Guys, if you want to go get 
these wines. They actually sent me a link that you can use. I put it down below the video and you can use the code DINGO15 and you get 15% off your order. I think my favorite one was the middle one. My favorite one was the barrel aged dry Dornfelder. It is number 310. This is the winner for the night. This is my new go-to. Uh, try this wine. Let me know what you think. Not a brand deal. Not paid. They just sent me three bottles of wine. I don't know. I'm gonna drink wine anyway. I'm kind of wine drunk now, so I'm going to sign off and uh, enjoy the feeling. Okay, bye. Um, this one was my favorite. This one is more of a dessert one. And then there's another one inside that I can bring in here. Why don't you have my fave first? Okay. <laughs> Okay, it hits you with like a little zing at first. Like it's kind of sour a little. But then it goes nice down smooth. So you say sour at first and then smooth? Oh, yeah. Do you want to chug the rest of this? Sure. My limit is only Please. a little bit. This is all natural? Yeah, and honestly, oh. I have zero headache so far. And usually, if I have like one or two glasses of wine, I'm in Headache City when you taste it. Well, love this. I knew you would. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to finish that? Sure. Gill frog. What are you laughing about? This video of Paris. Putting my lips out for a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear what you think about this wine. Okay, this one smells weird. It's also been aerating for a while. Ooh. So I brought this piece of paper out because this is the information on the one that you like a lot. So the one that you like a lot yeah. says it's their best-selling wine. The I've never had a wine like that before. Can't see. I love the little frog. I literally can't see. I'm obsessed with these cuties. Wait, it's called King Frosh? Yeah. Oh my god. I love everything about it. It's great. It's named after me. It tastes good. So good. King Frosh. Paris, I'm gonna call you King Frosh from now on. <laughs> Frosh or Fro King Frog. Look, Frosh. 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 You said it right, King Frosh. Frosh. Wow. Frosh. 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 Froshman. Wow. The Texas thing. No. Hello. I have. I think I just got out of the show. Oh my God! Perfect. We're having a conversation. Where? Ask her if she would consider Texas. Would you the consider South. Texas the South? Like, would you say you're from the South? Really? I'll tell you right here, right now. You ask anybody from Texas, they're gonna say they're Southern. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Dingo of the day goes to Kylie. Kylie, thank you so much for watching the videos. Kylie, you go, girl. If you guys want a chance to be the Dingo of the day, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, leave a comment down below, and you just might be picked to be the Dingo of the next video. I post new videos every day at 8 a.m. Pacific time, so make sure you're subscribed. Noties are turned on. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye!